Oh, God. <clears throat> You're really going to die dressed like that? What? Hello and welcome. I am the customization connoisseur. I travel the known worlds looking for outfits, skins, and otherwise beautiful things people have put on their bodies. So, so I can add them to my little scrapbook I have. Fashion is everything, everything, darling, from the highest goddess to the lowest dwarf. Though I'm not sure why you'd want to be that. Who'd want to be short? Hmm. In my travels today, I have come across a rather costumed individual, for lack of a better term. He comes from a world of superheroes and supervillains. I must say, though, superhero in... Superhero wing has never been one for me, because I'm not sure I'm a big fan of tights. But needless to say, he came across with him and his little acolyte, have come across some rather interesting outfits. Mr. Peter Parker and Mr. Miles Morales. So shall join me as I see whether or not any of them are worth any of your time and mine. We'll be starting off with Mr. Peter Parker. The Advanced Suit 2.0. Typically, I'm more of a simple is more or less is simple, but this is something that comes together quite nicely with the American red, white, and blue. I'll give it a classic 7 out of 10. The Black Suit. It's a bit more polished. A bit more rough around the edges almost, I want to say. We'll give it another 7 out of 10. The symbiote suit is a much more dangerous looking and rough looking suit that I think fits a lot more the vibe that they're going for. It very speaks a lot more dangerous and angry in my opinion. Give it an 8 out of 10. The anti-venom suit is the epitome of less is more. It doesn't have a lot of on it, but it's just two colors, but it speaks profoundly to me. Very much a 9 out of 10. The Kumo suit it wears its inspiration on its sleeve, literally in this case, and I quite enjoy it. The mask could maybe have a little thing, but the hood, it altogether fits rather well. I'll give it another 9 out of 10. However, what's holding it back is the man bun, in the back of my opinion, because spiders don't have man buns. The advanced suit from the first instance of this is just a simpler version of the, of course, the advanced suit 2.0, so I'll give it another 7 out of 10. The Scarlet 3 suit, oh my gosh, what is that? No, 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 we're not doing with that. We're going to give that a 3 out of 10. I'm all for hoods, but I would almost say the hood in this one makes it look terrible. Ugh, definitely not, definitely a 3 out of 10. The Classic suit, simple, iconic, beautiful, 10 out of 10. The Hybrid suit, I feel, has the opposite effect. It's too complicated and doesn't come together quite well. It's alright, I suppose, but it's not very good. We'll give it a 5 out of 10. The amazing suit looks horrendous. What is it? It looks like a onesie pajamas. And that's not... that doesn't scream Spider-Man to me. It screams child who needs to find their parents. We're giving it a 3 out of 10. The amazing 2 suit, another iteration of the classic thing, albeit Probably a little bit better, but I'll give it a 10 out of 10. No, well, actually, let's give it a 9.5 out of 10. The Spider-Man 2099 black suit. It's got the spikes, it's got the edge look to it. I must say, I quite enjoy it. I'll give it a 8 out of 10. Though I will say, I do think I prefer the black alternate palette swap of it. Options, I guess, but the Arachnite suit is a medieval almost Assassin's Creed like suit. I'm not sure if they were inspired by them or not, but either way, this is where the hood actually complements. The hood and cape looks amazing. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10 with that. Almost looks Azariel from the DC Universe, actually. The Antioch suit. Sleek, powerful, bright, dark, intense. Intense is the word I'm looking for. We'll give it a we'll give it a 9.5 out of 10. The superior suit. Hmm. I must admit I'm a little bit hmm, convoluted on this one. It's simple and looks dangerous, but I'm not sure it speaks to me on any sort of level. Ah, we'll give it a 
still give it an 8.5 out of 10. 8.5. The backpack adds a bit to it, yes. The Scarlet Spitzer suit is an abomination, and anyone who says differently is incorrect. I'm not for showing your junk to the public. I don't care if you're wearing a sweatshirt. You have to make the sweatshirt work. It should not be the central focus. It just looks like he doesn't have any pants on. We're giving it a 4 out of 10. The Inches of Spider-Verse Noir suit. I'm always a sucker for suits and jackets and ha and well-placed hats. You know me. I must admit, I'm a little biased, so I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. Plus, the aesthetic just looks amazing. 10 out of 10. The homemade suit is actually pajamas and was never intended for... Well, prolonged use, I must say. Instead, it's just, it's what it is. It's pajamas and a child running through, and any man who wears this in public should be ashamed of themselves. We're going to give it a 2 out of 10. Spider-Punk is an aesthetic that I can get behind, with the mohawk spikes, the denim, and the altogether with a belt. It just screams punk to me, and it's quite amazing. We'll give that a 9.5 out of 10. Secret Wars The Civil War Suit. This screams an intense tactical look and i must say it fits for what it's going for i'm not sure he should wear it around the city but for what it is for what it was used for i must agree it looks splendid i just love the way it looks with the straps and the intense look in his eyes i'm going to give that a crisp nine out of five point five ten yes i know what i said shut up the upgraded classic suit Another iteration of the classic suit, this one trying its own spin with a bit of black switched in along with the red and the blue. I must say, it's growing on me. I'm not sure, it's not as classic as the other ones I agree as, but it tried something new, so I'll give it another 8 out of 10. The webbed suit, an another iteration, another multiversal counterpart to the classic suit. Once again, another thing, we'll give it an 8 out of 10. The web black suit is the symbiote version of the previous suit, and I must say, it looks tons better in black. Everything looks better in black, my darling. Black is just a color you can't go wrong with. However, if you do it the wrong way, if it, it has its uses, and this, my friend, black and white, always a pleasure, always a pleasure. You can flop it and it would still look amazing. We'll give this a 9.5 out of 10. The Iron Spider Armor. I've always been construed on this set. All in all, it's iconic. I feel like it may not be as iconic as the suit as the original suit, but it's still something you can pick out in a crowd, and it's still something you can say, "Ah, oh, yes, that's the spider armor from Civil War that they had in a couple of years or so back." I can never. It seems these superheroes are always fighting themselves. It's actually quite funny to watch. But all in all, it's it's something. It shows up its face, but I don't see it. I guess I'm just numb to what it looks like. Numb to what it is and numb to how it is, numb to how it works. So we'll, we'll give it a seven. We'll give it a seven out of ten. The new blue suit. For a second, I thought I was looking at a green lantern. Or I believe that. I guess those are called blue lanterns. Either way, this is a simplistic yet profound version of itself. Almost, I want to say, Fantastic Four-ish. I quite enjoy it. I'm going to give that a nine out of ten. I think that looks. Astounding. The upgraded suit is just another reference and honestly doesn't stick out in my opinion. It's just the updated classic suit from those one movies that were what you were. I never actually saw them, I just went to him and talked to him sometimes. Oh no, I don't know. Black and red looks good, but I just feel like it's just rather lazy because it's just another risk. It's essentially a palette swap of the other suit, so I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. The stealth suit, black. Tactical. I'm not sure I enjoy the headbands on, around the top of the head, but we'll, we'll give it a we'll give it a six out of ten. The classic black suit. Now this was the OG symbiote suit. I've been to the thing I've got in my collection. I'm quite fond of it. Simplistic black. Iconic. We'll give it a nine point five out of ten. The life story suit. I understand the inspiration, but. I don't see the need for Spider-Man to have a space suit, let alone one that looks like it came out of Matt Damon's The Martian. Uh, I'll give it a 2 out of 10. Doesn't look very well. I understand the thing, but it just doesn't fit for what they're going for. The black and gold suit. Now this is a suit that I can get behind. It's another, I guess, palette swap of the original classic suit, and it's technically the other suit but inside out. 
However, in my personal opinion, I think this is the best out of all of the Holland suits. Because it's just... It's its own thing. It looks degraded. It looks beat up. It looks... Rough. And sometimes superheroes need to get a little bit rough, if you ask me. So I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. The new red and blue suit. Too shiny. Iconic, but... Mm, the fabric. I'm not, I'm not a fan of the fabric. It's too reflective. And I feel like I understand he's wearing blue and red, and he's intending to try to be, and he's more of a daytime superhero, but it just, it doesn't, it doesn't pop out to me as some as the others. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Not the worst, but still not the best. The Iron Spider suit, another version of the suit, and just, ugh, too many colors, too many things going on, too many things happening here and there. We're going to give it a 4 out of 10. Now this is a suit. The last hunt suit, clearly inspired by the by the villain Craven, I must say I enjoy it. The gold, the it almost looks like bruiserish, almost like he's about to rough you up for some money. It looks intense. For lack of a better term, to use that word again, I guess. Intense is the word I'm looking for. And intensity is be is beautiful in this case. It comes across as, yes, this is a hunter. This is a man who knows what he's looking for. And he has you in his sights. That is a 10 out of 10, in my opinion. The Saving Lives suit, purple and gold. Hmm. I see the inspiration. I can't remember the woman's name for the life of me because I guess she just wasn't that memorable of a character and I can barely remember what she looked like. I just know this is a color scheme. Hmm. I feel like the the mask and the chest work, but then all of a sudden it just kind of stops with what they're going for. I feel like in this case, it would have been better if the entire design would have spread over the entire suit and not just stopped at the pants. I feel like that's what's holding it back for me. I think that's what it's doing for me. So I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. If it had gone all the way down, I feel like it... Maybe, actually, if they had swapped the black and the purple on the pants, I feel like it would have come across a little bit better. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. The Arontia suit. I'm not sure what the vibe is they're going for here. I can't really tell. I want to say Transformers or Eraser of some type? I do like the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece going up from red to black on his head does look quite well. I do enjoy the mask. It does look intense. It does look very nice. I quite enjoy that. I'm not sure about the rest of the outfit, however. I'm not sure what their inspiration was. I don't want to say it's a bad suit. I just want to say it's not something you typically see. It's a risk they're taking. I'm not sure if it pays off. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. The Apocalyptic suit. Now, this is... Clearly another, I want to say, Spider-Punk meets Mad Max. I want to say it's a bad suit, but it's it comes out to me that this is a man who's doing what he can. It's tactical. It's got a lot going on, yes. But I feel like the lot going on parts are kind of separated in their own thing. Plus, the mohawk. I must say, the mohawk does bring it together. We'll give it a... 7.25 out of 10. The 25th century suit, another space suit, albeit a bit more 50s space suit with a bit of modernized futuristic tech. I'm not sure, once again, I don't see the purpose. All in all, it's not a bad suit, but I don't think it fits Spider-Man in my opinion. I'll give it a 5 out of 10. The stone monkey suit, a clearly martial artist inspired suit with the Indian style. I must say, It's growing on me. I think it's a, it's it's pretty good. The shoulder pads do look well. The, everything else just makes sense. Come to me. I'm going to give it a seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. The tactical suit. Funnily, it doesn't very really look that tactical. It looks more. I want to say tribal almost, for lack of a better term. With the eye marking, with the eye markings and the colors around it, I want to say at least the mask. The mask looks more tribal to me. And I must say, it it's, it's comes out to me, it comes more spacey, uh, spacey tribal, if for lack of a better term. A tribe in space. We'll give it a 7 out of 10. And this concludes Mr. Peter Parker. Now we go to his little cohort, or lackey, or apprentice, I'm not sure what the exact term is, I don't really care. 
Miles Morales, let's see what you have for me, Mr. Morales. What can, what can you, can, awe me, inspire me, show me something that screams you. The upgraded suit? Very nice, I must say. The shiny fabric in this one actually works well, in my opinion. I feel like it fits him. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. The evol- What in the devil is that? I want to like it. I do. But there's something about it that just screams trying too hard. Maybe it's the hair. Maybe it's the hair coming out of it. I'm not sure. I do want to like the suit, however. But I'm not going to say it's good. We'll give it like a... 3 out of 10. It just... I feel like you tried too many things at once and it just doesn't work. The family business suit. Gold. Black. Almost looks octo-ish. From the, the anti arc suit. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. The classic suit. Another essentially palette swap. We'll give it a 5 out of 10. Nothing much to say here. Mm. The life story suit. Another one of those space suits. I'm not sure why they keep trying to put these in to this. I'm not a big fan of it. A 3 out of 10. The sportswear suit. Now this is a now this is a suit. D Y I. That I think works. It's a you can tell it's what he tried to do with what he can. It's still iconic. It's not Spider-Man, I want to say, but it's iconic in what it is. And it comes together rather well. Sort of makeshift Spider-Man that comes together rather well. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. The Brooklyn 2099 suit. Now this is a suit that screams dangerous. It's black, it's sleek, it's got a little bit of tactical essence into it. With the slanted eyes, it screams dangerous. And dangerous is a good is a good look. It always looks good. I'm going to give this a 9.5 out of 10. The Turak suit. This is a good suit. It's intended for what it is. It uses colors correctly. It outlines itself with the red, with its main story being covered of blackness while being covered with whiteness. It's beautiful. I love it. 10 out of 10 suit. The Miles Morales 2099 suit. I want to say, for this suit, it almost looks NBA basketball-ish. The hood does work, yes. The emblem looks nice. It has some slight white accents. But it's not too much color. It's very much still a suit, but it, oh, I do want to say NBA basketball stylish. I do like it. I'm not saying it's the best, but it's very good. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. The advanced tech suit. Mmm... Simple, technological, red, black. We'll give it a 7 out of 10. The Shadow Spider Suit, another hood, mask, cape combo. Very very Batman-esque. This one is a bit, I would, actually, I would say it's a bit more Batman-esque than Assassin-esque. So, it does work. I'm not sure I agree with the padding, though, along the side of the leg. Or in the front. The padding, I'm not sure, looks very well. Maybe if they went with a different type of padding, it would have looked a little better. But all in all, we'll give it a 7 out of 10. The 2020 suit, a almost mask DJ look with its intense technological screensaver-esque type look. I must say, typically I would say no to this, but I quite enjoy it. I do think it comes together quite nicely. I'm not sure it's necessarily a good crime-fighting suit. And I feel like that's what holds it back, because I don't think anyone in the right mind would ever. But then again, I'm talking about people who dress up as spiders in spandex and flip around the city, so what do I know? We'll give it a 8 out of 10. The homemade suit? No. 1 out of 10. Disgusting. And get it off my screen. The forever suit? Why does he look like a panther? <laughs> You're a spider. You're not a pa you're not a cat. You're a spider, Miles. You can't switch professions in the middle of already doing it. That's a terrible career choice. Terrible, and it doesn't work. Good suit, good thing. I think you should just stick to spiders, though. I will admit, it is a nice suit. We'll give it a seven out of ten. The Bodega Cat Suit, another homemade style suit with a little cat companion in the back. This one, I want to say lazy, almost actually, because. It's like he just put on... See, the other one, with the other homemade suit, 
he stuck to a color scheme and he tried to go inspirational and it worked. This one I feel like is just he's putting on his normal suit and then just puts on a sweatshirt. Like he's trying something different, but it's not different enough to be its own thing. You know what I mean? So we'll give it like a 5 out of 10. The Purple Rain suit, very nice, green and purple. We'll give it a 7 out of 10. Into the Spider-Verse suit, very much a, another iteration of the classic Miles Morales suit with a bit more of a graffiti style artist to it. We'll give it a 7 out of 10. Another homemade suit, this one also from the Spider-Verse. Wonderful place, very kind of, if you have epilepsy or whatever it's called, I wouldn't recommend going there, it's not the best. But another homemade suit, I'm not sure the cave doesn't know each other and they never will meet each other because there's various reasons I can't say legally. But Red Hood-esque, and I have always enjoyed Red Hood's outfits. They've looked very nice. This one looks very nice as well. I enjoy it. 10 out of 10. The 10th anniversary, what in the monster is that? That is a 0 out of 10. Get out of my sight. This looks horrendous. You are not an alien. You are a human. Get off my screen. Disgusting. Zero out of ten. Oh, this one's even worse. The Great Responsibility Suit. Oh, my gosh. What is it? I'm sorry. With... Th it's something about the head and the stripe that's going down the chest. It just doesn't come across as good. One out of ten. One out of ten. This Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. suit, I'm going to give it a 0 out of 10, just simply because I don't like the governments in these words. Why would you ever work for them? They're horrendous. The Strike suit, this almost looks bionicle, I want to say. A lot of blockiness, mo connecting parts that come together, bionicle-esque. We'll give it like a 5 out of 10. The Programmable Matter suit, this is a... What, did you accidentally get bit by a radioactive disco ball? Mm, it works. We'll give it a 7 out of 10. Across the spot of a suit, another suit, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Doesn't have its own personality in my opinion. The Crimson Cowl suit. Mm, I don't know. I feel like <laughs> this is going to sound so weird, but it sounds, it almost looks too red in my opinion. Too red. We'll give it a 6 out of 10. Hood's cool. I do appreciate the hood, but it's almost too red. I feel like it needs a little bit more colors in its scheme. The best there is suit. Okay, Miles, I understand finding inspiration from others, but this doesn't come across as inspiration. It comes across as needlessly hopeless fanboy. And let's be honest, Wolverine's... Wolverine's stupid little cowl thing has never looked good. It only looks good on Wolverine and nobody else. You should never do that. We're going to give you a 2 out of 10. The Dark Ages suit... With this one, I understand what they're trying to go with. I've seen plenty of royals, especially alien royals. I'm just certain, I feel like if what they're going for, it needs something more. Maybe a cape or some sort of scarf or something. It just doesn't come across as interesting. It comes across as blech. So we'll give it a five out of 10. The smoke and mirror suit. Why, Miles, are you finding inspiration from the lamest sources? Mysterio was never a good villain. His dis fashion choices were atrocious. And this is no laughing matter. We're going to give it a 1 out of 10. Not good. No. The Borica suit. Now, American flag is an aesthetic. Sometimes it's a needlessly hopeful, hopeless aesthetic. But this one, there's just enough American that makes it good. We're going to give it a 8 out of 10. The king in black suit. Now, this is a good suit. Bruiseresque, violent is the word I'm looking for. Violent, spiky. I enjoy it. Eight out of ten. Now this, this is a good suit. This is a suit that screams. There is no hope for you. You are already in my sights, and by that point, you're already dead. I love it. Demonic, violent. Ten out of ten. The mo another Craven inspired suit. I've always loved this line. This line of clothing looks astounding, looks hunter esque. I enjoy it. 10 out of 10. Oh, Miles, you askly devil trying to play to my heartstrings. Very much jazzy, very much 